The Malleus Maleficarum Part I Question 11 That witches who are midwives in various ways kill the child conceived in the womb, and procure an abortion, or if they do not this offer newborn children to devils. Here is set forth the truth concerning four horrible crimes which devils commit against infants, both in the mother's womb and afterwards. And since the devils do these things through the medium of women, and not men, this form of homicide is associated rather with women than with men, and the following are the methods by which it is done. The canonists treat more fully than the theologians of the obstructions due to witchcraft, and they say that is is witchcraft, not only when anyone is unable to perform the carnal act, of which we have spoken above, but also when a woman is prevented from conceiving, or is made to miscarry after she has conceived. A third and fourth method of witchcraft is when they have failed to procure an abortion, and then either devour the child or offer it to a devil. There is no doubt concerning the first two methods, since, without the help of devils, a man can by natural means, such as herbs, savin for example, or other amenagogues, procure that a woman cannot generate or conceive, as has been mentioned above. But with the other two methods it is different, for they are affected by witches. And there is no need to bring forward the arguments, since very evident instances and examples will more readily show the truth of this matter. The former of these two abominations is the fact that certain witches, against the instinct of human nature, and indeed against the nature of all beasts, with the possible exception of wolves, are in the habit of devouring and eating infant children. And concerning this, the Inquisitor of Como, who has been mentioned before, has told us the following, that he was summoned by the inhabitants of the county of Barbie to hold an inquisition, because a certain man had missed his child from its cradle. And finding a congress of women in the night time, swore that he saw them kill his child and drink its blood and devour it. Also, in one single year, which is the year now last past, he says that forty-one witches were burned, certain others taking flight to the Lord Archduke of Austria, Sigismund. For confirmation of this there are certain writings of John Nitter in his Formicarius, of whom, as of those events which he recounts, the memory is still fresh in men's minds, wherefore it is apparent that such things are not incredible. We must add that in all these matters which midwives cause yet greater injuries, as penitent witches have often told to us and to others, saying, no one does more harm to the Catholic faith than midwives. For when they do not kill children, then, as if for some other purpose, they take them out of the room and, raising them up in the air, offer them to devils. But the method which they observe in crimes of this sort will be shown in the second part, which we must soon approach. But first one more question must be inquired into, namely, that of the divine permission. For it was said at the beginning that three things are necessary for the effecting of witchcraft, the devil, a witch, and the divine permission.